everybody um good afternoon it is now actually welcome back to another one of my amazing vlogs of me racing um it's the last day in Oct oh, no we're not in october yet oh gosh we're in august 31st of august um i leave in two days to go to holland to race the watersley ladies challenge and I've just started packing. Got my kit out here now. Um, three days of racing, four stages. So I'm away for six days in total. I stop over in Belgium the day before and day after the race, just so I've got enough time to get out there and everything like that. So yeah, I've just started packing now. So I just kind of like pulled my drawer out of my wardrobe here <laughs> I'm tempted to just put it all into like piles on my bed and just pack that but I think there might be a little bit too much stuff to take yeah <laughs> oopsie but on the plus side I've got some fresh fresh kit still with the label on that I get to take with me so nice such nice gloves, so warm. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping it's going to be sunny because it's going to be pretty grim in the rain. But I've got enough kit to get me around, so I've got this right ready for <laughs> how tiny the wrist holders. Like, I have to fit into this. So anyway, I think there's a time trial on maybe the first day. I think I'm gonna wear this for it. It's got member pocket on the back. Such nice material and radio pocket, which obviously I'm not gonna need, but look how nice it is. Oh, I can't wait to ride in it. Woo! So this is, I think, everything that I need to take with me for this weekend or this week even. I leave on Wednesday and I come back on Monday. So it's like six days. Um, I'll show you how everything's packed now. I've got my left my helmets out because they never go in my bag. My shoes for riding with tomorrow. Um, and then I'm just gonna take some old kit to ride in. I've got, see what's in there? Nothing. Um, I've got this bag with me for going to racing. Um, so I've got somewhere to put all my clothes. And I've got sports bras and socks in there. Um, wash bag. And I've kind of just packed everything down and then that's all my cycling kit. And then this is basically this line here. That's all my casual kit. And then I've just got two jumpers there. My shoes will go there. And then fold it over and I've got everything done. So yeah, it's going to be fun <laughs> um i'm getting my nails done tomorrow before i leave because they're looking a bit grim so i shall show you what color i get okay it's thursday now no it's not it's tuesday <laughs> i've completely got my days mixed up but um I'm just walking back from getting my nails done. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going out on the bike now. I want to get home. I've got two hours to do. So not too bad. Can we appreciate how nice these look? And they match my ball, so even better. Right, I put jeans on today, thinking that it was going to be cold. No. So warm. I just need to be like this when I'm racing now. Please, please, please. Because I'm not prepared to race in the rain. But it might happen. Not good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I had a brain fart. I don't know. Oh. 
awesome. Um, I've got a fresh chain on my bike. I've got the right gear. Finally, I might like some boots. Um, yeah, my number holder. It doesn't sit properly around my seat post, so I put it on here instead, and I like it. to go out now and do my S and C session for today. It's half past four now and I've got my friends coming over mine at, half, at five o'clock. So it's going to be a bit tight for time but I think I'll be okay. So <laughs> you can only just tell. You can see my hand up on it. But Ready to go. I just got to get my suitcase in, and um, there's a few bits of food that I need to put in. And that's about it. So I just made mm -hmm. some oat cookies. They're in the oven. Ah, it's a bit dirty in my oven. Don't judge. Oh yep, yeah. they're done. Mm. Oh, no. We'll go and put the other bits in. Um, three bikes with me. I've got my race bike, my spare bike and my cyclocross bike because I've got a cyclocross session oh, when I'm there. Um, pump, of course. That's going to go in there somehow. There we go. Level. Now, hi gorgeous. Hi. Let's get my suitcase. Excuse me, Alvin. Baby, move. Oh boy. Ready? Oh no, that didn't work. I've literally got the same amount of kit with me for a week as I did for going away for three weeks. That's a lot of Alvin's kids. decided he's coming with us. You're coming, gorgeous boy. Gorgeous. Bella. Hi, girl. Hi. <laughs> okay. So we've arrived at the Euro Tunnel. Got my bike behind me somewhere. Yeah, where's it gone? It's safe. They're all safe. Um, we stopped once on the way down. I got a yogurt. It was tasty. Um, and Mum got a, a coffee. Um, but now we're just kind of. <laughs> she just <laughs> spilled it. <again. laughs> all down it. <laughs> we're literally sat now in front of the board <laughs> so we can we can drive off when it says go <laughs> we're watching all the people from b um drive up to the board and then see that they're ready to go and then go these lanes now and there is zero people here that's not an exaggeration like we are literally the only people here and we've still got another 40 minutes so we're like well in I wonder where all those people went well that's what I'm thinking there was like 10 people that went um, before the call I wonder if they got on it on, on the other train Oh, no. 
So we've taken the scenic route to Belgium. We are about to hit the border. Behind this very slow lorry. Woo! Yay! I'm too tired to get excited, so that's as excited as I'm gonna get. Whoa, the bike path. Ooh, I like over there. Seven kilometers. Ooh. Mm. So, this is not driven here. Oh, there's that stuff in the box. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna go and do a little session now. Um, because I've been travelling all day, so my legs feel shocking. Um, but yeah, mum is just, well, she's not there anymore. I'm back in the car. Okay, I'm just finishing off my session. I'm a bit sweaty. Um, I just did BT warm up, because it's like nine o'clock now. Five past nine, so I didn't really want to do much more than 40, 45 minutes. Um, and yes, I'm in my my skin suit, my race suit, um, because I've not worn this yet. Um, I need to break the chamois in a bit. And I'm gonna put it in to be washed. And then all of my kit is sorted for the weekend. Um, I might go out on the road in the morning tomorrow before we leave. Um, and then we're gonna head up. It's like two and a half hours, so not too bad. Um, Yeah, I just need to try out the course and see what that's like because there's two different places we're racing at so I just need to figure out what the courses are like maybe watch some YouTube videos I don't know, I'll figure it out somehow I am not at all awake It's half past seven and we've been up since half past five quarter to six even just been for a COVID test and it wasn't it didn't have to it didn't have to go all the way up to my brain which was quite nice that would have been a shock at seven o'clock in the morning um so yeah now I'm gonna go and ride my bicycle have breakfast first ride my bicycle and then make our way up to the place we are staying for the rest <laughs> just arrived and we've got the tour on 15k to go in bed figuring out the wi-fi <laughs> the important things yeah um need to get our clothes in and then i gotta do some stretching and that's about it for today really dinner. and dinner yeah of course i need to eat <sighs> why wouldn't i need to eat honestly my food okay so it's 10 45 now sign on opens at 12 and i'm going to attempt to get into my skin suit before um before i leave so at least i'm not stressed when i get over there i guess but like that's how small the risk is i don't know if i'm gonna go into it and it was sunny and dry and now it's not it's soaking outside and I've got it's half past 11 now my race like my category starts at three so I've got a while so hopefully it'll dry up a bit but it's gonna make the cobble climb slippery I think they like this though so it won't be too bad which is nice okay um, I've done like one lap of the circuit now, um, which 
probably wasn't enough. I messed up one of the corners going into the steep climb, but I know what I did wrong, so it's all good. And yes, that sand is my rollers that are literally like about to break, I think. Which is not so good. But I start at 16.40, so I've got no 50, so I've got about an hour now until I'm off. But yeah, two laps of a 3k suit. Oh. Van deze tweede etappe op dit prachtige parcours gaan wij een fantastisch applaus geven aan Anna van der Weijden. En met mooi applaus kunnen wij gelukkig anderhalve meter en verder overbruggen. Een prachtige knuffel. En dat betekent dat u ook het applaus helemaal kunt geven aan 1, 2. Everybody say hi! <laughs> Zo meteen iedereen binnen is, dan uh, kunnen wij uh, het algemeen klassement op gaan maken. En natuurlijk uh, begroeten wij straks een zombie bakstip met deze etappeoverwinning en het algemeen klassement, dat is een ding wat zeker is. Tweede plaats voor uh, deze etappe voor uh, Nie Kevinke. 